Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can make the simplest open and close graphic user interface or GUI in your Roblox level. To do that, first of all, we're going to go to our starter GUI and make a new GUI. So screen GUI is the thing that we're looking for. And now we're going to add a frame to it. Here it is. We're going to place it in the center. We're going to expand it. And let's say that this is some kind of game menu that we want to have for our players. So we can go to the frame. We can change any of the elements here, but we're going to keep it as is just to kind of demonstrate the principle. So let's say that we want to make a button that's standing here that's opening and closing this GUI. So we're going to go back to screen GUI and add a button. So go for text button. Again, we're not going to edit it in any shape or form. We're just going to place it here. And now we need actually a script, but a really simple script that is going to close on click this menu and then on click again, open it up. So back at the screen GUI, we're going to add a local script. Here it is. We have our hello world initial state, but we're going to delete it and copy paste this. As you can see, there's just several lines of command. I'm barely understanding it, but I found it and it's working. So I'm going to keep it in the description of this video. You'll be able to find it and use it. And that should connect the button and change the visibility to visible and visible based on what we're clicking. So this should be present until we click the button. Once we do, it's going to go away. When we click it again, it's going to come back. So let's try it out in the game. We're entering the test and here it is. Here's the menu on click. It's disappearing. You can normally play, do whatever you like. And then again, on click, it's back. And we could of course add further elements to it, change the button position, whatever you like. But the basic functionality is right there. And that's pretty impressive again, through a pretty basic, pretty easy to use script that is connecting the button with the local script, uh, the connecting the local script with the button and the frame, connecting these two through this functionality. So there you have it, pretty simple, pretty easy, very straightforward. Again, the same code, the same script is in the description below. You can find it there, but there you can also find my links. This include my Patreon page, they include my channel memberships, which are under the video. And of course, they include my books on Amazon that can help you do a lot of stuff including overcoming procrastination and wasting time, which you can then spend on your Roblox creations. Please check out all of those if you want to support me. But of course, the easiest, cheapest, fastest way to do that is just to subscribe to my channel and be here for my new clips. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks for watching. Have loads of fun in your Roblox adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, bye bye.